Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Z, so welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. So since this is gonna be a cancer read on this channel, you guys, if you're new here and you're a cancer, I do have a whole separate cancer channel. Look in the link tree link, click on the link tree link, and you should see my other channel for cancers. It's called Cancer Goddess Tarot. So yeah, check the link tree link and you can also check that link out as well if you are interested in booking a personal reading from, from me. So it's done in video format. So basically it's just like a pre-recorded YouTube video that's sent to your email. So it's super simple. Um, usually you will receive it the same day or that next following morning or day depending on how many I have. So yeah. Just keep that in mind as well. So yeah, let's see what shows up here. So by the time you guys see this reading, I would have already uploaded um, a cancer read that I did today for my other channel. So yeah, I'm gonna ask for new messages y'all cause sometimes they be doing that, but I be wanting new messages cause I would like to upload cancer reads for this channel and the other channel too. Okay. And this is for January 2022, but this can happen at any moment, any time, okay? What message is he have for Cancers? <clears throat> what message is he have for Cancers for the new year for January 2022? What message is he have for Cancers for January? Okay, so this card, it was like another card too that was... um behind it so i wasn't really sure but excuse me this card right here it says i share something in common with everyone of every generation and then it has beats so i do feel like music could definitely be significant for you guys as well um for some of you guys you could be into music right and you maybe you make a different type of um I don't know, whatever you do as far as like something creative, it seems like it could be different because you're showing up here as a unicorn. This card actually showed up at the bottom of the deck too in the other Cancer y'all. And look, you see how it's a unicorn dancing, right? But she got two middle fingers up, okay. Like this card is a whole mood, I swear it is. Um, But yeah, let's see what else shows up. And it does say, it says a me and it says be me. So it's like you're just being you and you don't care what anybody thinks. Like you got two middle fingers up. So... For some of you guys, it's like maybe um, maybe you feel like you don't have something in common with other people as well. It's almost like you're, um, I just heard like new wave or it's like you're different cancer. So let's see. It's like in a way you're different, but not really different. Because it's like we all have something in common with somebody, y'all. But it's just something about you is very unique, especially with the unicorn showing up. What other messages do you have for Cancers for January 2022? So look, it says, I am my own lucky star. I swear y'all, listen, that was definitely some confirmation right here. The words are small on here, but it says, I am my own lucky star. So yeah, for some of you guys, you could definitely be into music, right? And you could definitely be, it's like something about you stands out. It's like you're a star, whatever you do, it's like you just stand out, you're unique. And you know, every star is not the same as well um, for what's showing up. It's just like, it's like the same generation, but it's just something different. So I do, I heard industry as well. So whatever industry that you're in, um, you just stand out. So wow. Cause you see how it's like, well, y'all can't really see it, but it's just like the solar system, like the universe, right? There's other stars around, but can't so you just stand out. So it's like some type of industry or like a some type of group or something. That's what it seems like. What other messages do you have? Okay, that was one too many. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I just ate and I had a bubbly, which is like a sparkling water. Well, not a sparkling water. It's a um one of those like flavor. Well, it's not even flavor. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's called bubbly. Um, yeah, you're like, you're, you're looking at like an alien, y'all, look. <laughs> like, very unique, and it keeps, uh, referencing like a unicorn as well, but it's almost like a, um, like you're an alien and a unicorn, um, 
costume or something like you're very unique so let's see what this one says it says i scream it daily i am ootw awesome so yeah it's like whatever you're doing y'all is want you to know that you're very unique you're just different it makes you feel like you don't have something in common with other people too you're just on a different path it's almost like somebody's like on their own wave or something but this card right here showed up at the bottom of the deck i'm gonna read it so it says dreams guide your path within this universe i may need a ink readable space suit that's kind of funny how that alien has on like a suit but for some of you guys um you could definitely be having like some strange <laughs> dreams y'all why does this resonate with me because y'all had i had posted on my channel on this channel y'all but i had a um dream like it was like an alien which was crazy like i can still remember it very clear right now it did not look like this one though i feel like this is like what you know how people think an alien looks like it didn't look nothing like that honestly it probably is somebody that looked like it but i don't know but it's something about your dreams here you could be getting like some um crazy dreams but it's kind of like um guiding you here on your path but it's like you're super connected here with the universe as well, you guys. So let's see. What deck do I want to use? I don't know why I'd be like indecisive what you're saying. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I'll be thinking about the thumbnail. That's why. Actually, I'm going to use this one. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> let's see here tell me about this first card here for cancer seven of pentacles so with this right here with this seven of pentacles i feel like it's more so like work or finances or something for some of you guys you could have invested in something or it's like you're manifesting something here as well with this seven of pentacles it's like the money's there or like it just hasn't really manifested all the way yet it's almost like it's still growing let's see tell me more about this first card here for cancer seven of swords the fool so with the seven of swords we got two sevens that showed up here as well so with this right here with the seven of swords for some of you guys you're about to have a new beginning right but i feel like right now because like the vibes i'm picking up it's like can't say you're very unique it's like you are is wanting you to know that you are definitely awesome here you could definitely feel like because you're you're having to wait and i feel like it's more so about a relationship for someone y'all or some type of partnership like whatever you could be waiting on um with the seven of pentacles it's like a need for patience right but you could feel like maybe like i feel like someone's like deceiving themselves or like lying to themselves here about um like basically who they really are like maybe you feel like something's wrong with you because you haven't really received something that you wanted but you're about to have a new beginning Clarify, I am my own lucky star for cancer. Six of swords, eight of pentacles. Yeah, whatever you're doing for work, y'all, you are like very, very powerful um, with this eight of pentacles showing up. It's like whatever you're doing, y'all, nobody can do it like you. You could make things. I feel like somebody could be into like herbs or um, you could do like spiritual work as well. And you could work with like plants and candles and stuff. Like you could have your own little um, like shop or whatever. But I see that here. Like you could make um, like those like herbal blends or something. But with the Six of Swords showing up here too. For some of you guys, you're moving on. But also too, it's going to be... Because um, I feel like it's a boat. It's kind of like moving slow as well. And I do feel like these are birds in the pictures, y'all. It's like your thoughts. It's almost like someone's thoughts. It's like some crow. You know how crows be sounding, y'all? It's like very annoying. But um, I feel like that's your thoughts, Cancer. Tell me about I am my own lucky star here for Cancer. Seven of 
tell me about I am my own lucky star here for cancer. Oh, for some people, y'all, you don't realize what you're about to, like, you've been manifesting, right? But I feel like it's, it's, um, it's kind of like it's coming in slow and you could be questioning like what you're doing. Like maybe you feel like you're not doing something right. Y'all, this is definitely resonating with me, but, um, no, it's saying just be patient. It's going to come in. So don't lie to yourself about your power. That's what it seems like. Clarify I am my own lucky star. For cancer. Tell me more about I am my own lucky star here for cancer. Thank you. Look, we got a cherry that showed up here. Some of you guys are about to get some type of insight here. But I do feel like for some people, y'all, because it showed up in the um, other cancer read that I did. It's like a new partnership that's showing up. But with the cherry it's showing up here, like, it looks like here you guys are moving forward. It's definitely movement showing up, you guys. But I just feel like cancer, because it's almost like you in a car, right? Especially with the chariot showing up. Like, you want it to go fast. But the universe is kind of like, it could be feeling like it's slow as well. So let's see. For some of you guys, it's almost like a mindset type of thing from what I'm seeing. Like really, because it's wanting you to know that you're a lucky star, right? Like you, you're just standing out. But it's like your thoughts are almost as if like someone's thinking like they're in a six of swords type of energy. Like that's just like your thoughts. But really, you're in a chariot type of energy. So it's like, it's not really what you think it is. We got this three of cups that wanted to pop out. Somebody, um, this came out too in other cancer, y'all. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Somebody from your past cancer is wanting to reconcile. They're sad. But it looks like you're moving on. And this could definitely be why that seven of swords showed up here too, y'all. Tell me about this last card here with the alien for cancer. The Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords. So yeah, it looks like here, cancer, things are changing here for you. With the wheel showing up here, it looks like some things are definitely going to be shifting here for you. But some of you, it's saying you need to change your thoughts. Especially with the Eight of Swords showing up here. Look, and again, like she thinks that she's trapped. And you could definitely be questioning like your looks and stuff too, y'all. Stop doing like you could be need to say affirmations and do mirror work. I had picked it up too, like in a recent cancer read that I did, and I believe it was on the other channel. But yeah, you guys are need to say affirmations, like start saying self love affirmations. You can start saying, um, these are actually affirmation cards, by the way. I don't, I don't think I mentioned that, but you can start saying that I am my own lucky star. You can start saying that, look, I am awesome. The other one, the first one that showed up here, I share something in common with everyone of every generation. And it says beats or whatever, but don't like try to single yourself out because you don't see things like actually changing for you. But it's, it's letting you know that things are changing, but maybe you just have not seen them yet. That's what it seems like. Give me one more here for I am my own lucky star for cancer. I'm trying to see what shows up. The hermit. So yeah, this showed up too in the other read, y'all. With the hermit showing up here, you guys could definitely be in solitude. You've been doing some soul searching. But you see how she's like glowing basically. And it's almost, I think she's like, no, she's not floating. It kind of looks like it. But it's like you're shining, like you're standing out here. So it looks like she's like a star, basically. We got the Empress that's showing up here as well. So a lot of you guys have a, a um, new beginning here that's showing up with the Empress showing up here. So let's see. I'm going to pull some here from my daily vibes oracle deck give me one here for a cancer we got a refresh that showed up here in new cycle so it looks like you guys are getting some type of restart here as well but also too i feel like someone's like refreshing their energy going into like a new cycle it's like something new but it's like you're going to be feeling like refreshed especially with the hermit card showing up here it's like somebody who's been doing some soul searching 
um you could be single and you could also too feel like feel like a little lonely too but no y'all if you're just in hermit mode being in hermit mode is actually pretty good too y'all like sometimes you just need to be by yourself okay so yeah let's see what shows up here but just because you're in hermit mode you feel like you could feel lonely or alone like it does not mean something's wrong with you um <clears throat> let's see what other messages do you have for cancers stay low key so yeah with this right here it's like airplane mode hermit mode here you've been really low key here but you're about to go into something new y'all i do see where too you could definitely be um about to go into like a new social group as well it's like you're gonna find because i feel like somebody was like alone right like maybe you don't you don't have any friends why does this resonate with me um <laughs> Like, you don't really have a social group. Um, I see two people that you may meet. Um, one of these people could have a tattoo. And they could be, like, they could be of a different um, nationality as you as well. It's like, maybe, it's the type of friend that you never had. But it's like, they're a good friend for you. And it's like, they understand you as well. So, stay low key. And then we got angel numbers that showed up here too. So, yeah. A lot of you guys have been saying you've been seeing angel numbers. And me too. But yeah, let's see what, so I'm going to get pull one more card. <clears throat> Give me one more here for cancers, please. Oh, so we got good news. We got fear. So I'm going to take this because the fear is just an illusion, but it's like someone's thoughts, y'all. It's like your thoughts are showing up here as crows. I don't know if I showed the card or not. But yeah, you see how it's like the crows showing up here and it's right here too. It's like you're lying to yourself with those thoughts. But we got fear that showed up here. just an illusion. Look, we got good news. And take a look in the mirror. So, yeah, you guys, you're about to receive some type of good news here in regards to some type of change. You don't see this coming. It's like you don't know. And I don't know either, y'all. I don't know, like, the day and time that it's going to come in. But I am doing this read for January. So, it's like just be looking forward to a new cycle or, like, you know, new things, new energy for next year i don't know when it's gonna happen but it's looking like it's next year so yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to leave the read here i hope that it resonates with you guys if you did take something from the read then feel free to give the video a like you guys it definitely helps me here on youtube especially as a creator it helps me it helped keep me going as well when other people are able to see my content my readings so yeah if you're new here feel free to subscribe as well